Hey guys, Alexander here, and in this video I will be covering the memoryless property of the geometric distribution. So let's consider flipping a coin until we see the first heads appear. Okay, so we're going to flip the coin sequentially, the same coin sequentially, and we assume it's a fair coin. We don't have to make that assumption for the memorylessness to hold, but let's assume it is a is a fair coin. Say that we've already made five flips. And each of these five flips have returned tails. Okay, so we haven't seen a heads yet. And assume that we're going to make another two flips, but we don't know what they will be. We will make an additional two flips. Okay? But when we condition, they're going to become, it will become the case that they are going to be tails once we condition. So what is the probability that we will need to make more than seven which is these five flips, these five, and these two. But to make the discussion easier, I'm splitting it into these five plus these two. So what we are interested in is, what's the probability that we will need to make more than seven flips, so that we'll need to make eight, nine, ten, and so on, flips, until we see our first heads. Conditioning on the fact that we have already observed five tails. So that is how we will show the memoryless property. So keep that in mind. What's the probability that we're going to need to make more than seven flips until we see our first heads? Conditioning on the fact that we've already seen five tails. Let's remind ourselves, if X is distributed geometrically with a, a parameter probability of success p, then the cumulative distribution function or the cumulative density function CDF is given by 1 minus 1 minus p to the power of x. That means that the probability that x is greater than this realization of x, this uh, lowercase x, is 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus p to the power x, which we know simply resolves to 1 minus p to the power of x. Okay. So the probability that x is greater than 7, and note that I have written it as 5 plus 2 to make the, to make the result clearer to you, given that we've, that we've already had to wait for more than 5 trials, is the probability of the intersection of these events conditioning on this conditional event, the x greater than 5. So the probability that x is greater than 5 plus 2 Intersecting with x is greater than 5, well, that's just going to be probability that x is greater than 5 plus 2, because 5 plus 2 is already greater than 5. So it's the probability that x is greater than 5 plus 2 over the probability that x is greater than, greater than 5. And here I've written the CDFs, so you can see where it is coming from. But we can also just directly apply this result, as done here. So the probability that x is greater than 7, which again, let me remind you, 5 plus 2, conditioning on that we have already waited more than 5 flips, is 1 minus p to the power of 5 plus 2 over 1 minus p to the power of 5, which is 1 minus p squared. And this is the same as the probability that we have to wait more than 2 trials. Well, what does this tell us? This tells us that the probability that we wait more than seven flips, given that we have already, so more than seven, given we've already waited longer than five, is equal to the probability that we will have to wait for more than another two flips. Well, that's quite interesting. It means that this sequence of flips doesn't care. It, when we are conditioning, it doesn't matter how long we've waited already. The amount of time that we have to keep waiting is only the, the length and the difference between these intervals. The length and the difference between 7 and 5, which is 2. So the probability that we will wait more than 7 flips, given we have already waited for longer than 5, is equal to the probability that we will have to wait more than another 2. So this is the memoryless property of the geometric distribution. It doesn't care how many flips we have already made. It has no memory of it. So the geometric distribution is the only discrete distribution that has this memoryless property. 
I've also made a video about the exponential distribution showing that it also possesses this memoryless property. So the geometric distribution, just to summarize, the probability that x will be greater than some n plus n trials, conditioning on the fact that you've already waited for n trials, more than n trials, that's simply going to be the probability that x will be greater than n. So it has no memory of the failures that have already occurred. It cares only about how long your remaining interval that you're interested in is. This m plus n minus n, which is equal to n. That is the only interval length that will determine this proper, that we condition on uh, to make the probability, which determines that ending probability. Okay. So I hope this has made the geometric distributions memoryless property clear to you. I've shown you how we derive and show that it does in fact hold. And I've also given you a motivating example considering the flipping of a coin. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and also click on the bell icon so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Boer Commander out.